Good morning, dear young scientists. You are listening to our school on air science subject. I hope you fully understand our lesson for today. Sci Talks Radio. Education must continue. Learning is a great avenue. No, no one, one will, will be, be left behind. behind. With new normal comes new learning. New method, new way of understanding. Keep on learning. Keep on achieving. There's no way of hindering. Enriching one stream. This, This is SciTalks Sci Radio. Radio. Your, Your number one source of science education. education. Conveying a half an hour of quality scientific teaching on air. This is SciTalks Sci Radio. Radio. Hello, grade 4 learners! How are you? Nice! Thanks be to God that you are always fine. By the way, congratulations! You know why? Two quarters are already done and you made it. Third quarter is waving! Yay! Are you ready for it? Aye, aye, Captain! Wow! It's good to hear that. You always have the energy to listen and learn. And I am happy for it. It's glad to be with you again for our new episode of An Exciting Lessons in Science. I am Mark Abel S. Bugawan, your science buddy for today. Join me and let's fill our mind again with an interesting information. Sit back and relax. For I'll give you an exciting lesson that you will surely enjoy. Let's go! Yay! Make sure that you are in comfortable place and clearly hear me in your radio. I know that you are very excited for our new lesson. Have you taken your snacks already? Aye, aye, Captain! That's nice! It is very important that your stomach is full and your body is in good condition. So your mind will be alert and ready to listen and understand the lesson that we're going to discuss. Do you still remember our previous lesson, my dear students? Very good! Did you learn something? Really? That's nice! What is our last lesson all about? You got it right! Our last lesson was the effects of interactions among organisms in their environment. Living things constantly interact with their environment. It is made up with biotic and abiotic components. Interactions among living things and their environment enable them to live in units called ecosystem. What is interaction? Interaction is a relationship that exists among organisms. It could be beneficial or harmful. Will you give one type of interaction? Correct! Mutualism. Mutualism, both species are benefited from the relationship. Another. Right, we have commensalism. Commensalism is a type of interaction where one organism is benefited while other is not harmed or affected. There are more? Yes, we have the predation. Predation where one is benefited and the other one is harmed or badly affected. How about the other time? You got it right! We have the parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship where one organism is called parasite and the other one is called a host. Can parasite live alone? Very good! Parasites cannot live alone. They must live in a living host. 
Will you give me another example? Yes, we have the competition. Competition is a striving or varying for the things needed for survival. Good job, kids! It seems that you remember our previous lesson. Let's see if you understand it by doing an activity. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! Identify the type of interaction to which the following pair of organisms belong. Let's start. Number one, pig and tapeworm. Correct. We have parasitism. Number two, butterfly and flower. Very good! The answer is mutualism. Number three, cat and mouse. You're right! Predation is the answer. How about number four? We have Orchids on a tree. Yes, the answer is commensalism. And lastly, we have the number five. The worm and the bird. And your answer is... Very good! It is predation. You really understand our last lesson. Congratulations, my dear children! This time, make sure that your learning materials needed are ready. Bring out your ball pen and notebook. To our parents and guardians, kindly guide our children in doing their activity. Children, try to push your ball pen. What happened? That's right, the ball pen moves. Try to pull it. What happened? Yes, it also moves. Why do you think the ball pen moves when you push and pull it? Very good! It moves because there is a force applied on it. What is force? Why does object move or change its shapes and size when force is applied. You want to know? Join me and let's find out the answer to your questions. Let's G. Let's G. Force is either a push or pull which occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. The force applied affects the movement of an object. For example, the toy car traveled farther when the force applied was stronger. It traveled nearer when lesser force was applied to it. Another example, if you exert more effort in dribbling the ball, the higher it goes. The movement of an object depends how strong the force applied to it. Understand? The shape of an object changes when force is applied on it like pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, stretching, or squeezing, or some ways of changing the shape of an object. Pounding means the object repeatedly with great force or with heavy instrument or the fists. Next, Compressing is to press or squeeze together. When you compress an object, its size, quantity, or volume reduce. Bending is another way to change the shape of an object. Bending is to force an object from straight form into a curve or angular one or form into some different form. Twisting is an act of turning or rotating an object. It's also combining two or more strands or threads by winding together. Another one is stretching. St
Stretching is to extend or lengthen something beyond the normal length. Did you understand, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! That's good! As the object changes its shapes, when force is applied, the size of the objects also change. Some situations where force is applied and change the same size or change the size or the following. When you drop a flower vase, a vase will broken down into pieces. Also, when pounding a styrofoam cup, cutting a piece of paper, sharpening a pencil, and grinding rice grains. Is it clear? Aye, aye, Captain! Have you seen how force change shape and size of the object and how force make the objects move? Aye, aye, Captain! Let us see if you really understand our lesson. Bring out your notebook and ball pen and let's answer this activity. Write what force is applied to change the shape and size of the objects. Number one, we have bottle cup. Would you mind to give your answer or would you mind to write your answer? Okay, the correct answer is pounding. Number two, Plastic drinking glass. Correct! The answer is twisting or is squeezing. Number three, we have chocolate bar. Very good! We have bending. Number four, we have modeling clay. Your ride is stretching. Twisting or crumpling. Number five, bar soap. Again, you're correct. We have pounding. You truly understand our lesson. Great job, kids! Yay! Now, children, how do force change the movement of an object? Very good! Or by exerting stronger force to an object. How about its size and shape? Correct! By pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, stretching, or squeezing. What is pounding again, kids? That's right! Pounding is when you strike a material repeatedly with a great force using a material or your fists. Another, what is compressing? Correct! When you press or squeeze a material, that is what we call compressing. How about bending? You got it right! It is when you force an object to form a curve or any shape. And twisting. That's right, when you turn or rotate an object or to combine two or more strands. And for stretching. Very good when you extend or lengthen the object on its normal size. Now bring out your notebook and ball pen, my dear students, because we will have a short quiz. Are you ready, kids? Yay! Listen attentively to the questions and choices. Choose and write the correct answer in your notebook. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Number one, what is force? A. A push and a pull B. A change in position C. A force that works against motion Number 2. What will happen to a toy car when a stronger force will apply to it? 
A. A toy car will not move. B. The toy will travel nearer. Or C. The toy car will travel farther. Number 3. What force will apply to a tin can to change its shape? A. Pushing B. Compressing C. Crumpling Number 4. What will happen to an object if force is applied? Letter A, the object will change its shape and size. B, nothing will happen to the object. Or C, the object remains the same. Number 5, it is an act of pressing and reducing the volume and size of an object. Letter A, stretching, B, compressing, or C, twisting. Okay, let's check your answer, kids. Be honest in checking your own paper. Number one. The correct answer is letter A. Number 2, letter C. Number 3, the correct answer is letter B. Number 4, the answer is letter A. And the last number, number 5, the correct answer is letter B. Who among you got 5? Clap 5 times. Very good. How about four? Okay, you give yourself a four clap. And three, clap three times. And who got two and one, tap your shoulder and say, I'll do better next time. Congratulations to those pupils who passed especially to the top scorers of our quiz today. And to those who didn't make it, don't lose hope. You still have more chances. Just believe in yourself. I know you can also make it soon. Okay, kids? I hope you fully understand our lesson for today. Another meaningful day has ended. Give yourselves a round of applause. Remind your parents to observe safety protocols when passing your quiz form. Understood? Aye, aye, Captain! If you have questions about our topic for today, don't hesitate to contact your subject teacher. Before we end our session, we want to thank Miss Princess Hyacinth R. Acosta for her effort in writing this script and to all the members of the production team of Raja Escuela sa Isabela and Team Shines for their unending service for the children. Thank you for listening and tuning in our Dep Ed Radio on Air. This is Mark Avel S. Bugawan, your science teacher for today. Always remember that despite of this pandemic, education is still possible so never stop learning. Stay home, keep safe, and God bless everyone. Until next time, thank you. Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo. Radyo. Radyo Eskwela.